Grab a blanket and snuggle up, for we are about to begin story time with the herd. Welcome to Story Time with the Herd. I'm your host, Magus. With the release of this episode, we have finished Kingdom Hearts 0.2, A Fragmentary Passage, on December 14th, 2022. And today, we will begin taking a look into the history and story of the game. Before we get into all of that, Happy New Year, everyone! All right, all right, settle down. We are now in the new year of 2023, and let's hope this year is better than the last. Now that we are in the new year, and my vacation is over, <laughs> I'm excited to get back into this Kingdom Hearts journey with you guys. So let's begin, shall we? Kingdom Hearts Birth by Sleep 0.2 A Fragmentary Passage is one of three releases a part of Kingdom Hearts HD 2.8 Final Chapter Prologue, which was released January 12th, 2017 in Japan, and then later released on January 24th worldwide. 0.2 A Fragmentary Passage serves as not only a direct sequel to the secret episode of Kingdom Hearts Birth by Sleep, also known as a fragmentary passage, and the secret ending to Kingdom Hearts 3D, Dream Drop Distance, but as both an interquel set during the first Kingdom Hearts and a lead into Kingdom Hearts 3. Alright, now we get to our fun fact of the episode. Besides elaborating on some lingering plot threads and teasing new ones, the game primarily demonstrated at the time the graphics and gameplay that were being developed for Kingdom Hearts 3. Took their sweet time releasing that game too. For those of you who are watching me play through the games on Twitch, we saw how beautiful 0.2 A Fragmentary Passage was. The game was absolutely stunning. I wish I had more of an intro for you guys for this episode, but there really wasn't much to cover. It was a fairly short game. So, with that being said, I, Magus, will be your magical narrator through the timeline of the Kingdom Hearts franchise. This is the story of Aqua and 0.2, a fragmentary passage. Lost in the darkness, Aqua wanders on and on, plagued by her own doubts and fears, ultimately accumulating in a battle within a reflection of herself. Devoid of any sense of time, she is not even sure how long she's been there. She has come across worlds she has once visited before, but these have been consumed by darkness, and little by little she falls into despair as she wonders what horrible things must have happened in the world of light for all this to transpire. Aqua is constantly haunted by the visions of Terra and Ven, until at one point where she is able to contact Terra's heart and talk to him. Midway through Terra and Aqua's conversation, Xehanort takes over, and while Aqua is overwhelmed by her happiness that Terra is there with her, she almost reveals where Ven is being hidden. But before she can, the real Terra appears and puts a stop to Xehanort. Terra and Xehanort battle for control, and as Xehanort begins to attack Aqua, Terra manages to bind him, leaving Aqua exhausted and all alone again. Now tempered with the knowledge that Xehanort was not defeated and her friends still needed her, Aqua nearly succumbs to the darkness before being rescued by Mickey Mouse, who was able to find her because of her light in the darkness. Mickey reveals to Aqua that he has been searching for the Keyblade of Darkness that belongs to this world. In turn, he tells Aqua that ten years have passed in the Realm of Light. 
Mickey explains that he and his friends are trying to stop the darkness and its minions, the Heartless, by sealing the door to light. Aqua agrees to help as their journey takes them to the darkness-consumed world of Destiny Islands. There, after a grueling battle with the Demon Tide, Mickey is able to get the Keyblade of the Realm of Darkness. He asks Aqua to come along so she can return to the Realm of Light. Aqua is ready to go back to the Realm of Light, but before she could reach the door, a Demon Tide attacks and she is swept away into battle on Destiny Island. As an injured Mickey was left behind to seal the door to Kingdom Hearts. Mickey succeeds in closing the door to Kingdom Hearts, which Aqua notes looks nothing like the Kingdom Hearts she has seen before. Aqua rests on the beach of Destiny Islands. Resolved to keep fighting before the islands are reborn in the realm of light, and Aqua slips back into the darkness once more. Sometime after, she comes across an old man dressed in black robes who explains that he was helping a precocious youth save the worlds. Aqua inquires whether the youth's name was either Ventus or Terra in hope of news that her friends are well. But the elderly gentleman tells her a different name. One that seemingly puts a smile on her weary face. Sora. And that's the summarization of Kingdom Hearts Birth by Sleep 0.2 A Fragmentary Passage. Alright Herd, we are officially another game down in the Kingdom Hearts series. And next, we tackle Kingdom Hearts 1. We're officially on the first game guys! Congratulations to us! High five! For those of you who air high-fived me, I'm so proud of you. <laughs> All right, with that, we're going to move into the outro of this episode. The music in this episode is copyright Square Enix, and I am able to use it due to their material usage policy. This episode is not sponsored or endorsed by Square Enix. I'd like to give a special thanks to Vry Kirion. You can find him on Twitter, Twitch, and YouTube at Vry Kirion. That's V-R-Y-K-E-R-I-O-N on all platforms. If you liked what you heard, you can find me on Twitter at AncientMagusX, Twitch at XAncientMagusX, or you can jump into my Discord server. The invite is in the episode description. Thank you all for joining me on this journey, and be sure to stay tuned for the next installment.